Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron Thor. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, it is November 26th, and the year my father was born. But, we got quite a few comps to go through, and we're still kind of struggling here in what is known as Korean Peninsula. But hopefully we do, we do okay, and at the very least, over the line against some gosh darn imperialists. But it looks like we're about to take another uh, thing over. So we got some comms to go through. Actually, we've got a lot of comms to go through. We've got a lot of focuses to go through as well, because I did quite a few of them off-screen. So, let's begin, shall we? Uh, let's see, the first one I did, after we kind of concluded the last episode, was develop the coastline right here. So we got some more municipal infrastructure, industrial parks, stuff like that. And I'll be honest here, I forgot. A lot of you guys gave, actually gave me advice about how to play this mod. And uh, I forgot to write it down, so that's not good. But I'm going to be building as much as we possibly can anyways. And then we finished and followed up with end the reconstruction. Removed economic recovery effort. We did some Soviet loans because... We love Soviet loans, which we got some good construction speed and stuff like that. Followed up with a, a line with Stalin, because who doesn't love Stalin? And then I did the situation in Korea. Actually, this one auto-bypassed already, the situation in Korea, so that was pretty good. And we did arm the Korean People's Army. Followed up with support the North Korea, or North Koreans with aerial advisors and equipment. And then we counter Soviet influence in Korea. Followed up with the program of general transition towards socialism. And now we're doing and finishing up the five-year plan, so we're losing population, but we get more construction speed quite a bit, and more factory up for about, I don't know, is it five years? Probably about five years. Now, we could do occupation of the DPRK, so which, uh, they become a puppet of us, which I actually really like, and they change their focus tree, or we do trade friendship, so I'm not really sure which one we'll do, we'll see what happens, but after the first five-year plan, ooh, I don't mind maybe doing transportation investments, compensate for poor agriculture investments, it's not great, but not bad, um, lose population, monthly population, Maoists, Ration cooking oil and cotton uh, stuff. Let's see, what else do we have down here? Become a Comic Con observer, that'd be kind of nice. Pursue our own goals for 200 more political power, would be kind of nice too. Remove, ooh, we can remove banditry. I kind of do want to remove banditry because banditry is probably not too good for us now, is it? Low uh, integration. Uh, banditry is not very good. I would like to remove that, so maybe we'll pursue our own goals next. We get some more political power as well. Participate in the Geneva Convention, the demise of the Crusaders. Oh, look at that. Interesting, interesting, very interesting. So we have quite a bit of political power. It doesn't look like we can really change too much here. Reactionary uh, laws, huh? So that's not too bad. Population growth goes down. Labor laws. We're going to stay on pro-union uh, pro for now. Um, positive action. Ooh, is that worth it? You do get less population growth. Media stuff. State media. Corporate media. Minority rights. Equal rights. Discriminatory rights. Ooh. Affirmative action. How about fiscally? Oh, oh look at this. Fiscal overview. Corruption percentage. Total fiscal... Oh, okay. So we're 35% overall tax rate. We can go to 45%, we can go to 55%, or we can go to 15%, so not bad. I like that we have a lot of different options here. But basic military structure, uh, welfare spending, we do get some more political power, industrial uh, park construction speed, long construction speed, cost per capita. I'm sure we can probably invest in that. A population, we can lose population for more construction speed. I don't mind getting more political power though. Ooh, local intel agency strength goes down. Metro police looks a little better. That's actually quite a bit better, but how about this one? Can we afford more welfare? Wow, that went up by 33 billion. Holy crap, that's a lot more. But even though we're getting 125 billion every, was it, a month or so? So that's not bad. We get slightly more political power. Not a lot more, but it's better than nothing, right? What are we looking at? So total expenditures, total monthly expenditures, uh, is now between the military. Public spending is the most, which includes that giant welfare expenditure. Welfare is expensive. It costs more now than our entire military. That sucks. So much for having welfare. But... I forgot what you guys recommended for me to do for in terms of all stuff. I know a lot of you guys said get industrial parks and get some more military factories, basically. We need to do, we want some office parks to make a lot more money. Um, I just forget whether we want to do infrastructure, water infrastructure, where we put them and stuff like that, but... Uh, yeah. We definitely need more food. So we'll, work, we'll try to work on that. We'll try to work on that. Um, honestly, 12%, 19%. Uh, I wish, I wish like, when we're, when we're, like, in this screen... That we could just hover over and say, oh, what type of climate is this? What type of climate is this? Does it say it? Because uh, I'm going to go with infrastructure for now. What do we do that there? There you go. Try that one. Even though we already have some stuff in construction. Uh, just go and do that. It's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. So the main goal here. Um, as someone did comment in, in, in the, from the last video. That apparently if no one wins, we just get a peace deal. Peace deal so that's not too bad. I'm kind of looking forward to that. We could use oh, less divisions here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, give me one of you guys. Like one of you. Possible NATO expansion? Look at that. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let me select you all. And just give me you. I just want that one division. Goodbye. I'll literally just delete them. 
4%. I don't want any attrition here. The less attrition we have, the better. Obviously, my main goal is just to hold the line. Because our logistically, we're looking really bad. We need a lot more auto cannons. We need a lot more infantry equipment, stuff like that. So, realistically, we can probably honestly cut down on a lot of stuff here. First five-year plan is done, which is great. Let's go ahead and choose pursue our own goals. Because we could use more PP, of course. Monthly financial stuff. It's fine, whatever. Um, combat Soviet influence. Preserve our national sovereignty. More difficult for nations to influence us. I'm not really sure what influence does. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Mercenaries hire a paladin group sounds really cool, but... Turkey joins NATO. Well, that's not good. That's probably really not good. Okay. The reversal of the... Oh, okay, nationalizes oil. Of the Protevol Balkarovsky Scott policy. A Bulgarian communist party decided to reverse its post World War II policy with regards to the Perin Macedonia region. Soviet leader Joseph Stalin had instructed Bulgaria to offer cultural autonomy to the region and recognize the population as Macedonian or Macedonian. This resulted in the Bulgarian state initiating a policy of declaring residents Macedonian and forcibly removing other declared Macedonians to the region in order to establish its cultural identity. Opponents to the policy were arrested or declared fascists by the state. Many residents were in the region were noted as Bulgarian speakers and members of the Bulgarian church. The motivation for Macedonianization were plans made to federate with Yugoslavia and the government even directed census authorities to identify the region as majority Macedonian to bridge with the neighboring Yugoslavian Macedonian region. However, now these plans have ended due to Yugoslavia splitting with Moscow and the region is being called Bulgarian once again. Unsurprising. How are we doing in this war? We're not attacking. I don't want to attack anymore. We're just out of guns, so we're not going to attack. I swear to God, we are not going to attack. You know, screw We're not even going to make this type of division. We can re we can convert other people to that type of di template, so that's really fine. We're out of fuel, as you can tell. Uh, it helps us with guns just a little bit, not a lot. I'm really disappointed, though, that they're these guys are not suffering any attrition. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of guys here, but they're mountains. They're literally attacking through mountains, and these guys are staying in mountains. I don't know. Just like, it's big sadness hours. Just, just a lot of big sadness hours, but um, we got the translator. And there was one comment regarding technology that you guys said, like, just focus on a few things at a time for what you really want in your divisions, so I'll try that approach. Um, I don't mind doing some of this stuff, too. I would like to get a lot of research speed and a lot of industry stuff done, but I guess we'll see. I guess get some description, but we can't do that one, can we? We need basic and consumer goods. Okay, so we need that one, too. Alright, and we need basic and consumer goods, too. This one, a lot more weapon types. I guess we'll try it. Greece joins... Why does everyone join NATO? Ugh, what a corrupt little institution. 1.84. Pursue our own goals and crush the Islamic uh, KMT insurgency. Crushing of the KMT Islamic insurgency event. Nice! We get some more stability. Because so this way, we can grab 5% more recruitable population. We can grab more war support. We can grab more construction speed and ideology drift defense. So, good. So we're building... Uh, what is this one? Industrial parks, which would be great. Getting more infrastructure. Getting more agriculture complex. I'm just going to build. Well, like, we're just going to build. Like, build, 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 build. Oh, look at that pee, -pee. Um, you guys just kind of hang out. I'm not sure where to send you, so just kind of hang out. No worries. Um, I don't see any attrition loss there, so that's fine with us. You can be led by Zhu Shi Yu. And now, uh, let's do something over here. I want to do something different. Uh, equipment cost goes down. I don't mind that. Honestly, we don't get too many things here. But we need industrial park construction speed. Let's do that. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. Closed economy. Um, as much as I love closed economy, we might want to go to limited exports, actually. That might not be too bad, so... But we might still need a lot of resources as well, so. Mao Zedong's looking like a very handsome, chunky guy. We all love our little Mao. Mao it up. Mao Mao. Um, anything else here? No, we can't get these guys, so we might as well close out of that. Arms contracts, we're buying some stuff. Which is fine. Yeah, not super worried about that. Send tanks to these guys, we could, but we're gonna wait. But, the crushing of the KMT Islamic Insurgency. After the fall of the army of Ma Klik during the Chinese Civil War, an insurgency was established being led by former generals and veterans of the Ma Bufang. The foundation of the insurgency was the fall of Ma Bufang during the Ning Xia campaign. And soon after, many generals, most of them Muslim, defected to the People's Republic of China as a collapse of the nationalist Chinese was imminent. Most of the former KMT Muslim generals such as Ma Bufang, Ma Hongkui, Ma Dongjing, Bai Zhongqi, and etc. have all fled to Taiwan along with the government of the Republic of China. But Ma Bufang's subordinate officers remain behind in the province of Qinghai today. The last of the insurgents were crushed in Yiwu, where over 700 insurgents perished in the battle as a flag of the PRC flew over the town of Wiyu. Oh, Yiwu. Interesting. Bom Quemoy. Not bad. Uh, participation in the Geneva Convention. Sen Zhu Enlai to the Ba Dong Conference. Sino-Indian Treaty. That's not my... That not my oh, we can go to, ooh, we'll go to war to bat. But we're not ready for that one yet. Uh, become a big player in the Eastern Bloc. I don't mind that one. That seems like a good idea. Increase cooperation with them. I like that as well. Developing links with all of our socialist brothers will help stimulate intra-block trade. I like that too. Nasir's Egypt as well. Um, new democracy. We lose. We get political power, stability. We lose war sport and stuff like that. 
societal reforms, prosecution of the rural cults, strengthen a grip on society. I like that a lot too. Someone did say that there should be a focus tree for us just helping out the Korean peoples, or uh, you know, DPKR. So which I think is just over here. I don't see too much else. The hundred followers flowers, hundred flowers campaign, encourage open criticism of the regime. That doesn't sound very Mao like. I'll be honest. Forbid waste. The reconciliation campaign. Consider the legitimacy of the re regime. Um, the plurality inside the left. Free the National People's Conference. Offer a general election with Taiwan. This seems like... Hmm, probably not the way we want to go. Censorship? We want to abolish censorship? Man, what's wrong with you? Let's invest heavily in industry first. Right? Let's do that one. We'll see what happens. Um, we don't have a lot of funding yet. So, is there anything else we can do with Material Designer? I think we'll just go with this one. We're lacking guns already. And this is just helps do with the research speed. 7% is not bad. At least let us make some more. I think that'd be worth it. I think that's good. I think that's really good. Death of George. Oh, the 6 Olympic Winter Games. Cool. Death of Georgia 6. Mr. Handsome. God save the Queen. Very cool. Yeah, as long as they don't enable invaders, we'll be okay, but still. Hello? Oh. Cool. And 500 kilo scale. Mutessa, the second X card. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. Interesting. Kilo scale? Uh, that wasn't it over there. Cool. Support companies? There's just so much here, man. Um, hmm. Signal support is not bad, I actually have. Engineers, maintenance support. Maintenance is not bad either. Let's come to guns. What else can we do for guns? Cavalry, desert, special forces? That's okay. That's a little bit ahead of time. Over here, special forces, attack and defense. Attack and defense. Heat attrition could go down. That's not bad to get. Um, invasion preparation. That's not bad, not bad. Invasion defense... You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, we could, ooh, this is actually mutually exclusive with this one. Capacity and less division training time. I'd prefer better sol soldiers, I'll be honest. Oh, but we need this one first. So, let's have one first one. Cool. Let's see, other comments. Let's see, for tech, so, like I said earlier, focus on a few things you really want in your division, so we'll see what happens. Let's see, do imp Israel in the future. Actually, a lot of you guys said, recommend that I should do Israel, so we will probably. Um, I like to play as Iran as well, maybe Pakistan. Any, I don't know, there's just so much here that I'd love to play as, so. Yeah, we'll try a lot of nations, hopefully, in this mob. Uh, so, someone also said Winnie the Pooh would be very proud, yes. Xi, what is Xi Jinping, that one Chinese guy, leader in our timeline right now. Um, yes, he'd be very proud right now. Uh, let's see, who else? What else we do? Dan the Rivers. Oh, we get some more electricity. Large modern factories. Steelworks Complex. Compensate. I want to do this one. Let's do some more infrastructure first. Transportation investments. That sounds like a very good thing to do. Let's see. Um, let's see. Someone says, yeah, like I said earlier, there should be a focus for helping out Korea. We've kind of already did with whatever we had with them. Obviously, we didn't have a ton, but we tried the best we could. So, And how many losses have we had? We had quite a few losses. Half a million have died, but since we're China, we've got 20 million more people in reserve. I'm not really concerned about it. So, And someone did say like South Korea was pretty much the aggressor in this one. Um, we've killed off. But it's about one to one ratio. Can't say that about the North Koreans, but at least for us, it's about one to one. It's slightly better for us, so. Not too worried about that. Let's get some more decryption that'll help out in combat. It really will. Now, I, will, I really want to see the casualties for the enemies here. Like, for the volunteers, I would love to see. Love, 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 love to see the casualty ratio. I think that'd be great, but it is what it is. So, we can keep going this way. Ooh, that'd be nice. Get more infrastructure. I think that'd be good. Open up Forsaken Regions. That'd be kind of nice to do. Even though I do want to do a lot of this stuff over here as well. Um. Hmm. Sino-Soviet split. Doesn't that happen a lot later on? That happens a lot later. It's in the 70s, isn't it? If I remember correctly from my history, which I don't remember that much of. So, uh, how many more days we got? We got one day left. Great. Great, 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 great. Get some more infrastructure. We love infrastructure. And, oh, yes, please. Mobile defense, support attack. Uh, this looks like the exact same type of line we have in vanilla, so. So, at least for now. That's good. Let's see, anything else here? Heavy aircraft is cool and all. Um, we got some casts, of course. Jet cast. Ooh. Cast four. Multi jet rolls. Light jets. I guess we're going to go with jet cast. Why not? We'll try it out. Obviously, we can't make that many, so. But I still like to try them out. That'd be good to do. Magnetic core memory. Very cool. Um, I want a lot of arty, man. I want a lot of arty. Automatic cannon, too. Sure. Sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Someone says that the Korean War will eventually get a white piece if no one wins. And now, I had to look this up like, like off screen. I didn't remember when the Korean War ended. Apparently, it ended in 53. And that just shows you the state of the American education system. We totally don't even remember Korea, the Korean War. Oh, the Egyptian Revolution.
Onward to the Suez. Cool. Snow Patrol? Sure, why not? Um, I'll be honest, what is this Infamy thing? Because I know Infamy from, like, Vicky 2 and even a little bit from EU4, but, like, Infamy? What does that do? Like, how bad does that hurt us? How can we see our own Infamy, maybe? I mean, we have GDP, of course. That does not very Infamy. We're slowly coming up, which is very nice. Value zero. Um, we need, we have a lot of civvies. I mean, just getting anything will help us out, but, like, we want to give, definitely get more office stuff and stuff like that, so. Um, let's look over here. What are we looking at? Plus 75 billion? That's not bad. Monthly balance. Public spending is quite a bit. Military spending is not nearly as much. Um, tax income. We're making a lot from our taxes. No office park income, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. I would like to invest more in infrastructure, but I'm not sure where Infamy is at. Dismantle faction. Can't quite do that. <sighs> Maoism. Nothing like good old land reform under Mao, right? That's right. Cool. And someone says, I should do the Republic of China, which I would like to, but that... Uh, probably tear my hair out someday just because I've heard it's quite difficult because I mean as we saw like with the People's Republic of China we got plus 75% attack on, on defense on or plus 75% attack on core territory which is we I wouldn't say obliterated the Republic or Nationalist Chinese but it's, it was pretty devastating it was pretty gosh darn devastating so um yeah let's do new democracy why not the new democracy we'll see what happens so yeah that'd be cool yeah do Republic of China which I will I'm um, more than certain I will do someday. And also someone says I should play North Korea. Definitely. I definitely want to try out North Korea. North Korea sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe not in real life, but like in game, that sounds like a lot of fun. Like really a lot of fun. Let's see. Also, I should do more of the modern day or Millennium Dawn mod. Yeah, I would like to, but one new mod at a time, at a time for me. Like I want to make sure I fully understand one mod before I jump to another one that requires me to actually be really aware of what's going on. So yeah, pretty much that's it. So yeah, cool. Obviously, I'm not going to attack. At this point, attacking is a dumb idea. I don't want to lose any more guns, because we're already out of so many guns. 36,000 is so bad. We should really make maybe a few more millies. Yeah. Um, military factories. Let's start cranking out a few of them here. Plus 90% sounds like a good. It's only two. It's only two. They'll be done fairly quickly. You know, June 22nd. That's actually not bad. The new democracy is not bad either. Social reforms. Um, lessons from the Liberation War. That's not bad. Doesn't seem like we get that much here, though. Transforming our army, remove people's people's army, huh? Um, ooh, look at that separatist. I don't like separatists. I love the Soviet technical advisors, though. All right, people's enterprises, medium collectivization, Soviet loans, Eastern trade block, nice. Five-year plan, I like people's democracy. Resource consumption is not very good, so we need to really help work on that. Food consumption, negative balance from capital. That's really bad. Um, where was that one that people's enterprise? Do we not have people's army? Well, actually, does that do we get that later? No, we don't get that either. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go down. Strengthen our grip on society. I'll get more political power and weekly stability. That'd be nice because we currently get plus point four. Let's go plus point five. I think that'd be good. Um, one point six eight billion. How much is how much more does this cost? A hundred percent more. Wow. The assassination of Kim Koo. That's in Korea, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Cool. Let him. Let him. Continue killing themselves on our line. Get more research speed, more construction speed. Uh, yeah, less population growth. Return of Mutsa the second, all right? Mutessa? Mutess? Healthcare? Oh, God. Healthcare costs a lot. Right? Public services. 150 people to change. Fee repair goes down. Um, hmm. Seems okay. Not great. Fiscal overview. Just, yeah. I'm glad we don't have a lot of corruption right now, which is very good. Monthly expenses, monthly income. GDP is not bad. Tax rate, I'd like to tax some more, but it's all right. We don't need that yet. Social stuff. Yeah, wait, uh, whatever. Strengthen the grip of society, that'd be good. The People's Daily. Launching a newspaper favorable to the people will guide them towards a true socialist uh, thinking. Oh, look at this. State media, I like this. This is not bad to do. Because we get daily political power. We lose stability, but we're gonna make it back anyways, right? So, yeah, why not? Ministry of Truth. We need a, we need, need, we require. A Ministry of Truth. Yes. Wow. Nice. Look at look how weak those guys are. I wish you could see how weak these guys are, but you know what? We're doing okay. Just hanging out, having a good old time. It's June 1952. I think we're doing okay here. Women's rights. Do we want more rights for them or not? less? Less population growth. More group of population, though. Semi-traditionalism. What if we went with patriarchy? Hmm. We get more population growth, state media. No, I think we're okay for most of this stuff. 
population growth. So when can we enact the one child policy? And anywhere here? No? Maybe? Yes? I guess it's under social stuff, but yeah. But after Ministry of, Pro of Truth, um, let's go ahead and do the games of the 15th Olympiad. Yeah. Large modern factories. We like we like them large, right? We, they're not large. We don't like them. Anything else over here we could do, maybe? No, no. Take out loans from the IMF or the Soviet Union, of course. Combat influence. Withdraw from Korea. No, we're not going to do that. No, no, we're okay. Actually, how much more manpower does South Korea have? Like, they should be attacking way more if they really want to win the war, so. But that's alright. Let them die. Send tanks to Vietnam. We're okay. Ooh, Metro Police. But it just, it just costs so much more. We don't have the funds for that. I want to get more education for the people, though. Research speed. Construction speed. Let's go with that. Oh my god, 84 billion. Oh, who care? Who needs education? Oh my gosh. Huh. Huh. Education's worthless compared to the price. Holy crap. Look at that. So bad now. So now we look at it. We spend the most on education. Not worth it. Public spending? Not worth it. Military spending? Way too much. Holy crap. Oh, my apologies. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Huh. Holy cruddy daddies. Alright, anything else around here? No, we're actually looking we're actually really looking good on the artillery tree, which I do I am kinda of pleased with, I'll be honest. Kinda of pleased with that. Alright, so we've got heavy tanks, medium tanks, and uh, what type of tanks are we using right now? We are using APCs, we're using trucks, tank destroyers, light tanks, and main battle tanks. Or really just we can do some light tank stuff. Light tank arenos, heavy tanks, lights? Yes. Yes. For now, I think for this campaign, we're, I'm just gonna continue going with whatever we have already, so. I think that'd be okay with me, but oh my gosh. Oh, we need so much more money. Railway expansion? Yes, please. Yes, just build more. Municipal stuff? Where is that infrastructure? More industrial park output, more construction speed in state. Getting a lot of this stuff done will be very important, so. It's all in queue. It's all in queue. We're trying to build more, uh, you know, food stuff too, so. Look at that. They're just killing themselves on the line. I would love to see. I really. Oh, wait. Low supplies where? Here? Oh, what's attrition like? 7%. That's not good. Um, okay. Well, you go bye bye then. Goodbye. I wish I could build in this territory just so we can get them some more supplies. 5 out of 5 is not bad. 15 out of 12 is not good, though. Treaty of Taipei. Look at that. Alright. We can delete you too. We can save some on guns, right? How about our guns? Um, minus 36,000, so after we delete them, it could be a lot worse. Uh, you can try that too, why not? Let's do it. Alright. And damn the rivers, because, you know what, nothing like damning rivers, right? Nothing like damning. We don't really need the energy boat. That's for later on. And the steelworks compass would be very nice too. Invest machine tools. We want to make sure we got enough stuff here. We'll probably compensate uh, for poor agricultural investments as well. At least we get one political power every day. That's pretty nice. So I don't want to do any more of this stuff here, because we just, we can't afford it. We literally just can't afford it anymore. We have a semi-recognized state. Total mobilization, follow the Kuri regime, alright. The SAP wins 1952 Swedish elections, alright. Interesting. We are on conscription level, extensive conscription. That's not bad. We probably go down to honestly limited. That costs a lot more political power. 200, 350, 450, wow. That's a lot. That is quite a bit. Right, are you learning anything, Mal, here? Yeah, I'm still learning quite a bit. Especially becoming a mountaineer is very nice. Anything else? Combat Soviet influence? No. Loans, no. Anything else, no. Not sure why we get all these options, though. Let's go ahead and compensate for poor agricultural investments. More political power and agricultural stuff. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, look, minus 110. It could be worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. It's the correct value and might differ from the trade window in some cases. Alright, so now we're 15 billion, which is... Obviously, we can't do very much here, but, you know, whatever. GDP growth rate is 18.4%. Nice. Domestic spending is not very much. Cool. GDP, just keep going up, please. Just keep going up. We need more. Oh, we're not quite in 53 yet, so it's going to stagnate and go up and stagnate. I don't know. I'm probably doing this wrong. Wow, what's going on here? That doesn't look very good now, does it? Um, what's attrition like? 4%? That's not too bad. Kind of sucks that our allies are here, too, so we can't do anything about that. Well, that's all right. After we can do that one, first serious Chinese census. Not bad. The threat of a food crisis. Ration, cooking oil, grain, and cotton. Alright, that's not bad. We want to get... Wait, what is the famine right now? Laos guys... Do we have famine? Nice. 
No, I don't see famine here. We have missing it though. Five year plan. A humble request, look at that. Um uh, people's democracy is very good. Cool. Mosa Degas resignation gamut, alright. Hungarian anti Semitic campaign. Concerning Educational infrastructure construction. Okay. You have reduced benefits equal to one half of the difference between the policy you upgraded to and your previous policy. Cancel expansion, revert to a lower funding level before the two year upgrade process is completed at no extra charge. Upgrade progress will, not, will be lost and you will not be refunded. And it's alright, let it happen. Okay, cool. Humble request. Today, noon, we received a community key from the Mongolian People's Republic. Within that community key was a detailed request for the exceeding of the territories near Inner Mongolia to Mongolian People's Republic and what Yumja Ying. Said Dembal described as an ancestral and ethnic right to unity of peoples. Well, it is true that this would be a noble act of goodwill towards the Altak peoples of the region, as well as something that would establish better relations between our countries. Many vocal members of our government have re responded to this request hostily, stating in plain terms that we do not owe the Mongolian people anything. The same is our land. A man fails seven times and rises eight times. Rejected. Unfortunately, the Mongolian government has refu refused our mass movement of workers. Their refusal is more, mildly, more than mildly annoying. Their loss. I mean, they can try to go to war with us. I mean, they could probably, they might be able to win since we we would have to pull out. But, like, still, here in China, we value our people's lives. So that's why we stop throwing them into the meat grinder for now because we're still losing men. But whatever. I mean, no, screw it. Don't even make any more divisions because we need to send most of our div our guns into that little meat grinder here. So it's looking a little better actually. Oh, look at that. Cool. Well, all hail to the chief, my friends. Hail to the chief. No divisions of basic training. That's okay for now. Not really too worried about that. We got, we got a lot of peepee, -pee, actually. Anything else we can do here? No, don't really care too much. No, no, no. Cool. I guess he's looking 52, huh? Nice. I, I, as much as I want to spend more money, I'm not going to. No ship designer. All right. Uh, enter Mongolia First Machine Bureau. Okay, armor. That's not be, too bad. Armor production cost goes down. You get more armor research speed. I can go with that one. Why not? Integrated support is great. Let's grab some of that so we get more soft tack and organization for support companies. Why not? Jet close air support one seems really good, so we can replace that other stuff. Get the MI MIG6 or MIG6. Very good, very good, very good. Why not? Got some convoys going. We got plenty of trucks, actually. It's a little lower by like let's go down to two at a time. I think that'd be fine. We definitely could use more guns, so. Advanced mechanization troops. Um mechanized transport. I'm not really sure if we really need these. Let's go down to one, maybe. So, uh, medium tanks, light tanks. We need one more of these guys. Lower tank destroyed by one. And we'll go ahead and grab the threat of a food crisis. Why not? They're still attacking. Can't really push us anymore. I'd love to get back Seoul, but I don't think that's possible. There's just so many guys here, man. There's just so many guys. Just so many. Uh, ooh, it went back down to 14.7, huh? How are we building? Military factories, one, two, three, some, the second request. Although we rebuffed their earlier community key, we received yet another message from the Mongolian government, apologizing for their pre presumptiveness. Mao Zedong has requested a treaty for open migration for the Altaic peoples into their lands, furthering their mission of unity for the people. Though this is less than an annoyance than the previous request, some still hold the issue with the idea of peace of the Mongolians. A fine idea. We will not bend. Scuff on the steps. Earlier today, the Mongolian People's Republic had reported their displeasure with the Chinese government due to their aggressive refusal to work with the Mongolian government in their attempts to integrate the inner Mongolian populations into their domain. Initially, the People's Republic of China denied an initial attempt to organize a secession of the inner Mongolian region into their state, with the hope of better relations following the transference of the region. When the Mongolian People's Republic sent another community key requesting an open migration policy, the People's Republic of China further denied them. Tonight, many in Mongolia are left feeling frustrated at the lack of cooperation. Let's get ready to scuffle. China refuses. The darn People's Republic of China is further um, so soiled our aims to unite the Mo Mongols. Out of a misguided attempt at fighting us tooth and nail out of spite, they have denied both our requests, instead favoring a staunch position of what seems almost like an anti-Mongolian sentiment. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait for a union. The Slansky trial. Was that historical? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably not, but whatever. Um, Mongol. No, that's it. I mean, obviously, it's probably in their tree, but whatever. Um, just in case, you know what, we can send you guys up north. I'm going to send one guy up north just because attrition and stuff, so. If you want to scurfuffle, we can go. Americans... 
Americans withdraw from Korea. Oh, we gotta read this one. The United States has begun withdrawing its forces from Korea. The president announced his decision after high-level meetings with the senior military and defense leaders. The president concluded that the American people had sacrificed and given all it could in supporting the cause of freedom in Korea. However, to stay on would be a to sacrifice lives for no reasonable gain, and it's time for people of Korea to stand up and fight for their own freedom. The news is being viewed as a fatal setback for the South Koreans and United Nations forces, as the loss of American forces now shift the balance of power noticeably to North Korea. The South Korean government and American allies have harshly criticized the American decision. Surprising. Hold on, hold the phone. Now, how can we do here? Can we actually attack this position, maybe? I'd love to attack this position. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. With Americans going bye-bye, we can hopefully do something here. Come on, baby boys. Come on, go on in, baby. Come on. Come on. The threat of a food crisis. I don't want any food crisis here, my friends. So, we gotta go and do it. Ration, o cooking, oil, grain, and cotton. It's gonna hurt us, but... Actually, that's really good for consumer goods. So, remove spirit of famine just in case. You never know. Maybe doing this too early is probably a bad idea, but whatever. Come on, come on. Special force improved training skills. Yes, yes. Paratrooper stuff. Invasion. I don't think we really need invasion too much. Air Force specialization stuff. Wow. Mm, heat attrition. Yeah, I can grab that one probably. I mean, that won't really help us affect us that much, but we can still get it. Stability is it still going up. Yes, it is. 0.5. Very nice. And we've beaten them back. Good, good, good. BT. Nice. Mechanized infantry, AFV, support equipment. Oh, I'll get some of that stuff too. Nice, nice, nice. Gong Chen, thank you. How are we still building? Still getting maybe some more money, hopefully, eventually, someday, yes. God, I don't think we can take Pyongyang. I really don't think we can, can we? Okay, I've been wrong before. Okay, we'll see what happens. Hey, I'll gladly see if we can take it. I'll be surprised if we can. I'll be very surprised if we can. So, um, what else can we do here? Anything else? Soda mobilization is fine. Actually, I would like to go down here, but we need more than 70% war support to go down. Oh, I actually jumped from this one. Military factory con construction speed. Air bases, coastal forts. You know what? Let's go down to early mobilization. It's the same amount of consumer goods. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't, so. Can we actually just jump to this one? Is that a bad idea? Because I just want to build this stuff up as fast as possible, like... Oh, May 25th, that takes so long. 27th of June. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Still, not bad so far. Oh, you got a whole attack there. That's fine. Pretty brutal fighting down here. Cool. And let's go ahead and do some rare metal extraction advancements. Nice. 72 is not great, but not bad. Help him out. Looking pretty good right here. Okay, now you're not. <laughs> if you keep gave up a lot of pressure on them, we probably still can't win. Mongolian application to become an SSR dejected. Interesting news. Spain joins the UN. Well, that's good for them, I guess. Yeah, still kind of a massive, massive, massive struggle here. It isn't a good campaign unless you struggle a whole lot. We even have air superiority. We still can't win. I don't understand this. How are they not suffering from attrition? Like, bro. Back South Vietnamese rejection of the Geneva Accords? Alright. Yeah, this is stupid. Yeah, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be like peace out and stuff, but like... They don't get any attrition with using tanks and such and heavy vehicles like that in mountains? Alright, well, that's why I just kind of stopped caring about this, you know, so. I guess it is what it is. We're not just going to do anything here, then. <laughs> Let the bodies continue wreck. Okay, never mind. Uh, apparently that de declaration was a lie. I I I'm seeing some American divisions here. So, even though we took one pro tile on province, America lied to the world and said they'd leave. Well, obviously we've proven that to be false. Don't ever trust a game. Huh. <laughs> Don't ever trust the game about, you know, news and such, so. I tried. I, I told... Oh. I know that after my death, a pile of rubbish will be heaped on my grave, but with the wind of history, will sooner or rather sweep it away without mercy. <gasps> Good night, comrade. I've never seen this before. My God. You all have some serious face cheeks.
Good night, comrade. Good night. Wow. We got losses. Still not, honestly, not that much more for us, really. But South Koreans have lost a lot of guys. I mean, seriously, bro. Seriously. The purging of the Muscovite... Oh, well, the Balkans ever stabilize. Not bad. The Khrushchev thought. The ascension of Nikita Khrushchev to the position of General Secretary of the Soviet Union marked the beginning of a new era. Khrushchev quickly decided he needed to relax the Stalin era of repression, control, and aggressive foreign policy. Khrushchev is able to embark on this ambitious project of transforming Soviet society due to his ability to ally with powerful factions and place loyal supporters throughout the Soviet system. His background as a peasant also aids in his credibility, however. As Khrushchev works to undo the worst aspects of the previous regime, he will have to deal with the ambitious rivals and staunch Stalinists, who do not appreciate this campaign of openness, especially regarding to enemies of the state. Khrushchev believes an, uh, an era of destalinization will revitalize the Soviet Union in its struggle against the capitalist world. A good start, but we'll see where it ends up. Alright, what else can we do here? Anything good? Anything yummy, scrumptious, dumptious? Naval stuff is okay, heavy air stuff. Oh, they're attacking three times, look at that. Oh. Medium aircraft, interceptors, multi rolls, interceptors. Um, it doesn't really matter to me too much. I think we'll just go with that one. Machine tools, investments, nice. Uh, expand steel production, might as well, right? Might as well. Hey, 0.22 trillion, not bad. Could be a lot better, but could be a lot worse. One, two, three, four, and some, not bad. We're definitely trying to work on the food here. We're doing the best we can, as far as I can tell. I'm trying to get more millies as well, so. Guns looking really bad, but we're working on it. Go down to one. That's fine for now. Uh, could use a lot of that, could use a lot of this. Uh, I don't remember exactly when the Korean War ended, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, America, you lied. You lied so hard to us. You said you were leaving? Well, that was determined to be a lie. Yeah, not bad for spending. We can only get... Oh, we went back down to 0.87. That sucks. Yeah. Well, after that, after expanding steel production, probably exceed the expected results. We get two industrial parks, and we also get another power plant fossil fuel, which I think sounds pretty good to get, right? That sounds pretty darn useful. So we'll see what happens. No guarantees. We have almost... We have over 1,400 army XP... Jesus Christ. That's really nice. Did anyone learn anything yet? Like, guys, you're here in... Yes, Korea. Someone's got to learn something, right? Go with Ambusher now. Let's see what we can do anymore. Okay, Armistice Agreement in Korea. There we go, finally. An Armistice Agreement has been reached between North and South Korea with the U.S. The Korean Armistice states that the new border is based on the Kansas line where the fighting last happened. There is now a 250-kilometer DMZ line on the border. The warring nation signed a ceasefire. And fighting has stopped. The Korean War has seemed to cool down now the two sides are claiming victory, even though it's a status quo. It is now common in the Korean Peninsula. Let's hope they work through peace now instead of war again. We'll liberate Korea another time. When we're much more industrialized. Hopefully after we get some uh, dang reforms. Milovan uh, Jalal is appointed president of Yugoslavia. Uh, Dijalis, a long-time senior member of the League of Communists of the Yugoslavian Party, was recently appointed to become president of the country. It was widely seen as a successor to the current leader, Joseph Tito. A communist theorist, Dijalis became a major critic of the Soviet Union, has been intensely and immensely important in articulating this Yugoslavian perspective during the recent split with Moscow. In particular, Dijalis has criticized the mass of Soviet bureaucratic system and the issues with having the center direct all economic activity. Indeed, the Soviets in the past have openly called for Dijalis to be purged. However, the new president enjoys the support of Tito and the senior leadership, who have asked him to continue writing articles for the official communist newspaper regarding critiques of the Soviet system and reforms. Interesting. Fights are fly to the Shah. Oh boy. That's not going to have any, any real repercussions in the future, right? So we're doing this one. We can speed up the collectivization process, which I want to do immediately because that gives us more consumer goods, more construction speed, and stuff like that. And Zahedi and Hiding. Interesting. Now, I do want to go ahead. I'd love to do more of this right now. We really would like to do this right now, 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 now. Maybe except for that one. Riding in Tehran. God, can Persia just calm down? No, we cannot. Trial and error economics? The first year of success... We get another flipping research slot? Oh, sign us up. But I definitely, 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 definitely want to get involved down here a little bit more in <clears throat> what is Chinese or PRC rifle clay. But Desert Warfare Tactics are nice. It's 53, of course, my friends. We're getting some of this, which is nice, nice, nice. Jetcast 2, might as well. <clears throat> uh, we, I gotta find it in the focus tree too, but let's see. We got some more research coming along. We get some more trucks. Trucks are nice. That's a little bit ahead of time. Weapons of mass destruction. Can't quite do that one yet. Or spacecraft or rocketry, but we'll get there. Um, industrial park income. Oh, yes. Power, powder cooling. Yes. And oh, let's do In Sino Indian Treaty. I think that'd be good. And we get 100 more political power so we can spend some, do some stuff with it, right? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, where is the current uh, focus that we're currently researching or doing? 
Okay, so we got one day left. That's fine. You get more political power, more research speed. Thank you. Sign us up, big daddies. If they aren't big daddies, do we really want them? Of course not. Oh, give us those big, big daddies. Are we suffering from attrition here? Hopefully. Clemency campaign launched for the Rosenbergs. Mr. President, do not permit hysterical fear to override justice. All right. Well, there's still hope. A auction of the king's possessions. All right. Uh, oh, Jillas purged. Over the past few months, President Milan Jolovis Agilas pr published almost 20 articles in the official Yugoslav communist newspaper critiquing the Soviet model. He began writing these articles under the encouragement of Yugoslav leader Josef Tito. However, these critiques, although anti-Soviet, advocate for an alternative, more democratic system of the party rule. Gilas has gone as far as to suggest the one-party state may be a mistake, suggesting leaders be retired to prevent corruption and to open the path for others. This part of his critique led to the Central Committee meeting where several members advocated for Gilas to be purged. After consultations, Joseph Tito and his allies con concurred that Gilas has gone too far and he must be purged. He has been dismissed from all political posts, and he is expected to resign from the party soon. The Tito state itself strongly believes in a powerful state party. A powerful party with a firm leader of governing Yugoslavia. Interesting. That's all we can answer with. It's just, oh, that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Nothing else. Just, just interesting. Don't purge me, baby. Don't purge me. Yo, we, oh, we like each other. Don't purge me, baby. Not bad. I I'm ready to invade uh, Tibet. Can we please do that? I'm ready to invade uh, Mongolia too. So, I think for now, I'm going to do a few more focuses off screen, such as participate in the Geneva Convention, uh, send Zhao and Lai to the Badun Conference, and probably do um, nationalize the industry, take over trade, and or maybe force farmers into cooperatives, which sounds like a lot of fun, but let me know in the comments below. Should we do the occupation of the DPRK? Or should we do the Treaty of Friendship? Please let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoy this video, and the end of the Korean War, which looks really kind of cool, actually. That looks really weird, though. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this mod, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll also figure out how to make China, or the People's Republic of China, bigger, better, and more handsome, and not starving. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.